So this is Ujjwal Kumar Sand and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you how to do derivatives and the same question has been asked in gate previous year that's why I have written this question. So how to solve this kind of problem? I mean this time of this kind of derivative well in general you will not get question from this I mean from derivation that much we I haven't seen that much question in this topic they have asked in gate but yes they have asked in gate from limits as well as uh, um, the definite integrals they have asked question a lot all right sometimes they have asked question maybe one or maybe they haven't asked in in, uh, in many years okay so but even then how to solve this type of problem well yeah this they have linked this one because we have we have used this kind of things in case of uh, differential equation okay so if someone know how to do how to solve question in uh, uh, by using this method but if he, he or she doesn't know how to use these values then probably he or she is going to make mistake or probably he or she is not going to uh, uh, not able to solve the problem so what to do basically to solve this time uh, this type of question okay let's get started so we have given y to the power x f is equal to y to the power x so if I'll do uh, uh, yes, the first, deri first derivative of it, that is curly fy, curly y, then what I will get basically, I will get simple thing x uh, multiple x minus 1. Okay, now we can what we can write this x multiple y to the power x by y because I am separating, we can write this as like this y to the power x y to the power x multiple y to the power minus 1 so we can write it it here write it here okay so what we got x by y y to the power x curly f y curly y is equal to this now wh what we can do basically curly square f y curly x and curly y is equal to we have to do derivative with respect to x so first do derivative of this okay so y to the power x by y therefore we can write at is y to the power x minus 1 okay so plus plus x multiple x by y multiple y to the power x multiple natural log okay so you can get natural log natural log of y because there is a formula if I am derivating this term only suppose that a to the power x is equal to a to the power x log a we can write this in differentiation we are having this formula alright so what we got till now we got how to solve this problem till now okay so y x minus 1 plus x this will become again y x minus 1 natural log ln y okay Sometimes uh, by misconception we said that this is i. This actually this is not i. <laughs> okay, this is l n. That is for natural log. Okay, and for natural l for log. So always said l n. Now what we got here? We got these values. Now after getting this uh, solution, what we have to do? We have to put that values. Those values basically x is equal to two and y is equal to one in this equation only. So how we can solve it? And how we can put it? So just simply put it y is equal to 1 and 2 minus 1 x is equal to 2 and y to the power 2 minus 1 and here what we got basically natural log 1 again we know that log 1 is equal to 0 right so this whole term this whole term become 0 it will becomes 0 now what we got 1 power anything maybe 0 or maybe 5000 will become 1 so what is the answer for this question that is one what we have calculated basically by using the process what we have given already all right so we got the answer one now we have to see options we have given that is zero one two minus one so option b is the right of uh, right option for this question right so this is this is the way to solve problem related to derivatives i mean derivation and most of the time they try to link with uh, you know uh, differential equation to make it a little bit a uh, little bit hard or maybe to increase the complexity of the problem okay because it's not a university examination it's gate so uh, there are lakhs of students uh, writing gate examination every year 
so they try to do it uh, something different so that's good that's good very good so i hope you understand the dot well and i hope if you'll get question related to it you can solve it in the examination thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again in my next video dot well bye bye